Huh? It's a free basketball game with me today. Oh, yes. Huh? Yeah. I'm hoping you guys won't be here. So all these players are free. Let's say this with the chain. Let's say about 20 minutes. This is coming. So let's just get this over. All praise and glory belongs to Allah and is justified that no one deserves to be worshipped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to serve his person. Play. To get right to the Hajj program. What day does Hajj start? Raise your hands. Don't fall down. Left, I can't see. I'm blind. Left, I can't see. Do we have any candidates on these guys? I want to throw something out. What, what day is this time? The eighth day. Play. Excellent. Because I love that. The eighth day of the Hajj, what's it called? Someone give me a name. You have to know the names of the days. So when I talk about the day, you know what they are talking about. The eighth day is called what? Wednesday. What's it? No, no, no. The eighth day. Yeah. You know? Where? Listen, yeah. ask him to whatever you're selling, just repeat. Don't worry, we'll see it in Israel, we'll see it in Israel. At Tabuya? At Tabuya, I said it's not Israel. The day of Tabuya. This day, people go as they can where? Where is it? What? Why don't you guys just memorize the bunch of facts? Huh? Oh, I love this one though. It's five miles away from Mecca. Not far from Mecca. It's not Medina. And it's right on the outside of Mecca. Alright? What are you doing, man? On the eighth day, the day that we said it's full of Tabuya. Yeah. I want to get through this in five minutes. I want to get through this in five minutes so we can get up and start saying who's doing Hajj wrong. School part. Huh? You sleep over a slumber party, right? Marshmallows and stuff. That's a fudge, right? So what are we doing? What are you doing there? Yeah, you read it. What are you reading? Are you reading the papers? No, Quran. Worship it. Jamarat. Like, you're there preparing yourself and awaiting the day of Arafat. The day of Arafat is the next day, the ninth day. So the ninth day is called what? Day of Arafat. Why is it called the day of Arafat? Somebody knew. Why is it called the day of Arafat? Huh? It's you. Why is it called the day of Arafat? Why is it called the day of Arafat? No. Go ahead. Because that's the day you go and climb the mountain called Arafat. So it's the day of Arafat. It's the day you go to... No, you don't have to climb the same day. So you don't have to climb. Right? The Arafat is wide, huge, huge, like seven, eight million people are there. So it's not like little mountains where three people can be on top at the feet. It doesn't work like this. The land is Arafat, the borders are Arafat, everyone has to get it. This is of the most, this is the most important pillar in Hajj. If you miss Arafat, you miss Hajj. So if your car broke down, and you got sick on the road, this place stole your wallet, and you were looking for it, and you got to fight it, you both got arrested, by the time you got out, it was like midday. And then your father got sick, and you carry him, and all these very valid excuses. You get to Arafat after you know it, may Allah reward you for your efforts, but you still have to repeat your if, you if you haven't done your head, you know, head just once in your life. Arafat is the most important pillar in Hajj. If you don't stand in Arafat, at least for a little bit, before you the end of that ninth day, you haven't made Hajj. Serious. Arafat is the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brags to the slaves, brags to his angels about the slaves. Why? Millions of people gathered in the desert without Allah forcing them to do so, begging him for a paradise that they've never seen. And begging him to protect them from a fire they've never seen. Crying, wishing to see his face and spend eternity with him in Jannah, even though they've never met him, but they can't remember him. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that beautiful? The angels, they have to do it right. They don't have free will, they don't have free choice. But look at these Muslims, these slaves, that at will, 
they spent and they sacrificed and they came and they waited and they begged and they did. Allah tells them, leave from Arafah, you are all from I Meaning at the end of the day, it is announced, and my angels have forgiven them all, they all come out of this hajj as pure as the day they came out of their mother's son. This is what the hadith says. Yes, sir. If you make Tawbah in Hajj, right, you come out, clean sleep. Perfect. Which is pretty cool, by the way. Because the Hadith says you come out as pure as the day your mother gave birth to you. It's pretty cool about Islam. Because the purest day in Islam is the day you were born. <laughs> the worst day of your life in Christianity is when the day that you're born. Right? You come out, the first thing you got, you got the sins of the... Of what? You guys know about this, right? You guys know what the original sin is? It's not important, forget it. Mm-hmm. So I'll go ahead and dial up last night. Question. Alright, please do your service. Uh, so after you have your, all your videos put up here? Major and minor, Shabbos. Mm-hmm. So, this is why the Prophet said, mm-hmm. Al Hajj Mabru, meaning a pure, sinless Hajj, one that Allah accepts, has no reward but Jannah. Meaning? You get paid in full without exception, no loophole, this is the reward. It's, it's that simple. So after Arafat, uh sets on the day of Arafat, and the people, they leave, and they go to where? On the night after the day of Arafat. They go to a salt. Very good. Who agrees? Raise your hands. I not agree with that. What do you do after that? Huh? For some reason they're back on the walls. For some reason they're back on the walls. You see when your back leans, your brain closes. That's why you have to come off the walls. Move further, because when you're I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna go like that, you have to find your back on the wall. Ten seconds, fourteen seconds, that's how long it takes. So step away from the wall. Now, where do you go after off? Quickly, you guys waste the time. Huh? Me. Who agrees? Agree with me? See, you guys don't trust me anymore, right? <laughs> then you go to Muzdalifa. And you pray what in Muzdalifa? Asr. Right? Right or wrong? Right? How? You just said after not to go to So do you think such a beautiful day like Araf is day that you skip prayer? After you leave Arafat, after Maghrib, you get to Muzdalifah, you pray, Maghrib, and? Isha. Isha, very good. Then this, the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, spend some part of the night there in Muzdalifah. Some part of the night. Take a nap, take some rest, sleep a little bit, sleep a lot. But you have to get going fast. First of all, because there's going to be a lot of traffic. And you have to pick up your equipment. What's your equipment? Stones. Huh? Stones. These little stones. Little stones, not like peas. Don't come grab your stone and say, I got a stone for shit, fine. <laughs> right? I'm going to show you what I'm made of. Um, because the next day is what day? What number now? Yes, the 10th day of the religion. What's that? That's <coughs> Eid. The day called an Nah. Nah is sacrifice. This is Nah, means next. So it's called the day of Nah because that's the day when the next are of the sheep are slaughtered. Something very beautiful about our day also. On our holiday, we feed others. Other religions, their holiday, they stuff their own face to get drunk. In our holidays, we feed the poor, we feed the needy. Anyhow, so on the day of Nah, what do you do? Someone tell me. What do you do on the day of Nah? The day of Eid. If you're in Hajj, if you're here, I know you're in the prayer, you can go part. If you're in Hajj, what do you do? So what about you? I'll put you on the spot. You guys didn't study this in class? Did you study in class or not? Yeah. Yes or no? Raise your hand if you be in class on Hajj. But I don't Hajj. Raise your hands. I'm going to ask the teachers. What day did you teach? What grade? Uh, high school. So these guys, huh? Yeah, these guys. Do you want to do the Hajj or should I leave them? No, I, I do science. They have okay, science. so you guys are also. Shazam, you explain to them, Hajj, right? We 
No, no but, 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 but like, when we have other like, jobs. You just watched the movie, you saw it in the sound of color, and you still don't know? Oh, she has a fucking school, some places, right? Yeah. Like, Anyhow, yeah. on the day of night, we'll do three things. There's no time anymore. You guys rolling down. Really made this interesting talk. Kill. On the day of night, kill. Slaughter. Slaughter of the animals, right? Don't just say kill, don't just say slaughter. Oh, man, just slaughter. So we slaughter the animals, we shave our heads. Huh? It's preferred, it's much better shape here. It's just a trip. Now. But wait, there's something very important you gotta do. What age? If you go up your head wrong, what? Then what? Then we pick up stones? What do we do with stones? We eat them? No. What are we doing? Don't let the shape on. Don't let the shape on, right? No. It's not the one that's on the shape on. Don't let the shape on. This is. Now, can we call it? No, you do. The throwing one thing at a time. The throwing of the Jamarat. Some of the scholars said because I'm crowding and otherwise we can switch up the order of these three things. But, throwing of the Jamarat, you're not throwing the actual blood. Okay? Some people think that Shaykhwan gets locked up and gets tied up. That's why that pole that Allah brings him to the gang of angels, brought him, and they tied him up. And it's like a pinata or a, what they call it? A witch of the stake or something. And a lot of people have to think this. So they get a nice big rock, and they start chucking. Why does it hit people in the back of their head? It's no bad at this. Why do they take off their slippers? They chuck their slippers. Some people remember the crazy things that Shaykhah made them do in their life, so they get very angry when they get there. You know? You made me the worst of life, you son of a... And they curse, and they say very wrong things, really. So this is a very, very wrong belief. Right? Shaitan is not there. We are doing this act in, while glorifying Allah. So we say Allah wa Every time you throw, we say Allah wa We're glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who guided us and guided Ibrahim alayhi salam before us to slaughter his son, sacrifice, make the ultimate sacrifice for Allah, and wasn't stopped by Shaitan from doing so. But Shaitan is not there. We are repeating this act, just the act of Ibrahim alayhi salam, not Shaitan. Just like when we go to the Salah and Marwa, when we pace back and forth, the Sa'i, is we're doing the act that... No? Hajar! 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 We're not really looking for water, we should be looking for water. Right? We know, it's like something in the bottom of the corner. Hajj now. You're not looking for water. But you're doing the act that she did. Because Allah glorified that act due to her Iman. So we're also glorifying the act of rejecting Shaitan that Ibrahim Ali said this, so we're repeating his act. Now, the next three days, the days of Jamarat, uh, oh, you go to the Kaaba, what do I say? You go, you go to the Kaaba, and you go around the Kaaba. There's no time to go into too many details, so I'm going to stop here, I want to some of you guys at least do some do Hajj, and we'll see who knows what they did wrong. So, Tawaf, you're going to go seven times, half the Tawaf, you're going to do Hajj and at the same time. You go get some Zem Zem, at the end of Zem you go. Uh, try to touch the black stone or, or, or kiss it, if not touch it, if not leave it and say, Allah, let's go. Read it, and then you head over to Safa and Marwa, you pace back and forth seven times. Also, there are three more days that you keep repeating going to the Jamal. And this is the Hajj. And this is the Hajj. And then you make a walk, you do the Kaaba farewell, one last time, and you get back on the plane, you have to make it first, you get back on the plane, and then you. Come back to you, you know, uh, one of the See, I'm just crazy. Uh, then you come back to your country. I want someone to make Hajj for us. He can skip. Where's Ben? Is Ben here? Well, I got one. You can use. Is there a sign? Let's get the card to the guys. Funny, man. This is probably coming now. So let's just let's just do it fast. Somebody stand up. Somebody stand up. We got one. Somebody stand up. Yeah, we got one. Yeah. Somebody is soft, so you can pick on him. Someone wants to be here. Someone is deep. Somebody think I'm always a lot better. I'm not always so this way. That is my thing. Yes. Musa. What's your name? 